All right, everybody, we're going to cover something so incredibly important, and that is how to use tags. Now, tags are very important when you want to connect a whole pile of objects on your screen with your code. So say, for example, in this game, we're collecting bacon and we are collecting eggs. Now, there's bacon and eggs everywhere in this game. If we go into this room, there's some eggs and bacon in there. It's a fish egg. I know it's not looking like a real egg, uh, but these are collectible objects. So they have their little glow and we can collect them like that. If you have a ton of these, you're not going to want to set them all up as editables and you're not going to want to set them up inside of the details panel to have an on collected event and it goes to a thing. We're going to want to do this in verse in the shortest way possible. Now, this tutorial is sort of a part of what I want to do in the future where we show uh, a UI and not just a UI for for one person, but for showing a UI for everybody. Now, the other thing that we're going to cover in a future tutorial is how these collectibles don't come back, but those ones do. But that's for the future. Right now, I just really want to I want to get it out there how incredibly important tags are, how to use them and why we use them. So let's get into UEFN and verse. OK, so we're inside UEFN and you can see here I've got just a basic map. If we come way, 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 way out, there's a house there. There's a little river. Uh, lake, some trees. I haven't finished the other side, but I'm just working on this basic game. I think it's going to be kind of fun and I'll probably release it as soon as it's done. But we've got these collectible items. This one's bacon. This one's eggs come inside the house. We've got uh, eggs and bacon in here and there's going to be a ton of these. Now, usually if you were building a game like this and if you don't know this, well, then let's talk about this. But usually you would when you want to make something available to your verse code, you would make it an editable. Now, we've talked about editables in other tutorials. Uh, there's a link down below for the most popular popular tutorial I have on verse beginning. And in there we talk about what editables are, but essentially it's a way to connect this object that's on your scene to your, this is the uh, game manager verse device that I've got in the game here. So you can see on the right hand side, we've got game manager and then it's got bacon and it is set to this bacon here. And we've got egg, which is set to this egg over here. If we had a ton of these, we would have a ton of editables in here. We absolutely do not want to do it that way. So let's figure out how we're going to do it a much, much faster and better way. And that is actually to use tags. So let's take a look at our verse file. OK, so I've opened up my game manager file and inside of here, we're going to take a look at what we're doing. So we're using tags, which is a way to tell UAFN and verse, essentially this item should be categorized in a way that I can access it later. For example, actually a most common way of using this is if you have a ton of spawners, you would tag your spawners and then do your spawned event on the tagged item. Does that make sense? So essentially what we're doing is we're taking a bunch of items, we're tagging them here in the game. I'll show you that in a second. And then we're going to go inside of verse and say, verse, can you go find all of those items that are tagged with this tag and I'll take that as a jumble and do something with it rather than having editables. That would just be an absolute nightmare to organize inside of here because you see we've got two right here. We've got my initial bacon and egg collectible object device, which is just inside of the devices inside of Fortnite. If you go collect a bull and it's going to be a collectible object, just a basic device. You can set it to a bunch of things. I set mine to bacon and eggs. You can actually set it to anything you want. You can have your own mesh on it as well. But that's not the point. When we're doing this, we want to tell verse, look, go look for all of the things that I've tagged. Let's tag an item first so you can understand what I'm talking about. So let's take this bacon here because it's not tagged yet. I haven't tagged this. I haven't set it to be a thing. So over in our details panel, you see this green button that says add. Click that. And then in the search, because it's not going to show up in this. Oh, it does show up in this list. How about that? Because it's recent. I've done this recently, but generally verse tag markup is not going to show up. So you're going to want to do uh, search in the search components, go TAG, and that's going to give you verse tag markup. So this is what we really want. To, I can't stress enough how important this feature is. OK, so we'll just keep it as verse tag markup. That's its name. And then inside this list here of the tags, I've got some tags. And so there's a default one for item tag, which we're not using. There's the collect breakfast ingredient because these are breakfast ingredients. We could tag that, but this is bacon. So I'm just going to tag the bacon ingredient for now. We're going to talk about having multiple tags in a future video, but that's how we do our bacon. So our bacon is now tagged inside of here. And that's that's vital. That's a really important thing. We'll go over to the egg. We'll go plus go tag. 
hit tag here. And then down in this list, we're going to put it as egg. And that's it. Okay, so once you have your tag markup done, you're going to want to duplicate the object that you have tagged because it's going to save you time rather than bringing on a brand new object and then having to re-tag it. So before you build your game, you really want to think this out. So we can just select our bacon here, hold the Alt key, and then just drag with the gizmo and it'll make another one. And this one here will already ha have its tag on it. So we can see here in the details panel, first tag markup, it's already a bacon ingredient. So this is much faster than going down to the bottom and, and continuing to bring out a collectible object and then changing it to bacon and then putting the tag onto that. You might as well just duplicate the item that you've already done. So once you've done that, we want to go into the verse file because we need to be able to subscribe to the collected event so that we can add to our score or our item count or whatever we want to do for the item that we are interacting with. So let's do that. All right. So inside of verse, this is uh, relatively simple, so don't get too worried. We're going to definitely need the using verse.org simulation tags, and then we're going to make our tags. So these are our tags here. I've got three. Of them. I've got our collect a breakfast ingredient tag, and this is essentially we're setting this with the colon equals class and tag. So this tells UAFN, hey, this is a, a tag class. I want you to use it inside of the game. The reality is we actually have to make these first inside of here, then build our verse file, which you can do either hitting uh, control shift B, which will ask to save and then it will build and we'll see that the build was successful. Or you can go to the top and do build verse code up here and that will build it. And until you do that, where we add the tag markup, it won't show up in there. So that's a very important tip to know that you actually have to make these first before you put them on the list. But we're all done inside of UEFN. Now let's stay in verse. So we've got our bacon ingredient and our egg ingredient. And these also are just defined as a class tag. So now we want to be able to interact with these items and have something happen without using what I've done here, editables. Now editables, if we had say a hundred collectible devices inside of our game, we wouldn't want to have a hundred of these. That would be such a pain because we'd have to listen to one after another. Like we have here, when we set up the collectibles, I'm specifically calling on the bacon one for the collected event and then subscribe. This is ridiculous. We do not want to do this. Tags are a way better way to go. So because I have two different tags, I'm going to run two different loops. And so we've got our bacon collectibles and that's get creative objects with tag bacon ingredient. OK, so bacon ingredient is this one here. So whatever has this tag, which we can see here inside of UAFN that we put in, if we just look in our details panel and we go down to verse tag markup, we can see that we've got bacon ingredients set. That links to this class here. And then we access all of that with these lines here. So bacon collectibles, just an array of creative objects with a specific tag of bacon ingredient or egg ingredient for that matter. And then we're going to loop through them all. We're going to define them as a collectible object device, right? So let's look through this, what this four does. So four is a loop. So for the bacon collectibles, so the collectibles, the array that we got here, we're going to define that as bacon collectibles. And then we're going to say the bacon item is the collectible object device because that's what it actually is. And we're going to set it as as the item that's in, inside of here. And then we go bacon item, collected event, subscribe on bacon collected and on bacon collected uh, adds one to our bacon count and then spawns a create more bacon on that item and then updates the UI. The UI is the count that I showed earlier. So the create more bacon is going to have that creative device respawn a bacon over a period of time. Uh, which is down here. So it sleeps for three seconds and then bacon respawn for all. Respawn for all is a way to have a collectible object, just respawn an item for everybody instead of just the agent that got it. I haven't done the code that allows every item that is in this collection, but we'll do that in a future video. It's not important right now. What we really want to discuss is how to use tags and why they're so important. So with just this line, we have taken away this and these because everything is just tagged inside of the game. And we can call our one function that we need to call through these two lines here. This is so much better. If you have a whole pile of objects that you need to do something with, you need to listen to an event on like spawners or other devices, you're going to want to use tags. And this is the way to do it. So that's it for this one. 
Hopefully that has been interesting and I will see you guys in the next one.